everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Heather Lindsay and I am just, today's video is just, I guess I want to just call it answered prayer. I want you to know that God is so faithful and he's so good. I just wanted to share a little bit about my new TV show, which is the Heather Lindsay show. And the cool thing about it is I used to host television. I used to go on auditions when I lived in New York City. I had a desire to be a TV host. I went and got my vision board and I was like, I'm going to be a TV host on MTV. I mean, it was, that was my dream. And I remember I got the opportunity to be um, a guest host on MTV's TRL. And I remember being on there and I remember just being like, this is not where I'm supposed to be. I, will, I thought I wanted this so bad. It was on my vision board. But at the same time, it's just like, that's not what I could just sense that that's not where God wanted me to be. And so I remember just putting it down. I stopped going to auditions because at that point I was, I had worked, you know, production. I had done behind the scenes, like TV production. I've done all that stuff for years behind the scenes. But I, I felt like I, I felt like God was leading me to be a you know, TV host at what point one day. So um, I remember the Lord just telling me just to lay it down and just to trust him and give him my life. So in that season, I gave him my little boyfriend because I was single, my little boyfriend. I gave him the TV host desire. I gave him everything. And I said, God, I know you've called me to preach more than anything. And from there, if you open up a door, great. But if you don't, then you know what? I'm going to trust you either way. If I never host TV again for the rest of my life, I'm cool with it. I'm good. And the crazy thing is I started to get offers to host and, and stuff like that. But I knew that that's not what the Lord wanted me to do because he told me to lay it down in that moment. So I gave it to him. I just laid it down and I just said, all right, God, you know, I'm going to trust you. And he told me to go take a job on Wall Street. Wall Street, that's so far from my personality of being a TV host. But I was like, fine, God, if that's what you want me to do, I trust you. So I laid it down. I took a job on Wall Street in human resources, okay, which was great because I got to deal with people. And it was at a software hedge accounting firm. And I mean, the people there were... They were so smart. It was amazing. They were so smart, but they, as far as like their personalities, they would just, they would just look at me and be like, why are you so like outgoing? You know, they were all very introverted, but it was so fun because I got an opportunity to get to know all these different people. The Lord used me to be a light and to be an example there. Um, people would always come up to me for counseling and advice and different things that they had going on in their life. And I just knew that God led me there. So I ended up being there and we got, me and my husband got married and I moved to Atlanta and I told my boss, I was like, hey, you know, I got to move to Atlanta. I'm getting married. And I was like, I have to quit. And she's like, no, no, no. She almost started crying. She's like, you can do this job remotely. And I'm like, can I? So I was able to take my job, my New York salary, all the way down to Atlanta, Georgia, and to work that job. And the cool thing is I was able to stay at that company um, from the time that I started into full-time ministry. So I see why God was setting me up the way that he was. I could see why he led me to go do that because he knew that I'd get married, move down to Atlanta. So moved down to Atlanta. I ended up, um, again, going into ministry two years later. I still had a desire for, for hosting. But again, I gave it to the Lord. I was like, God, if it's you, you're going to hand it to me and put it in my lap. I'm not going to be out here auditioning. I'm going to preach the gospel. I'm going to do what you want me to do. So I literally kind of forgot about it, if I can just be honest, um, because I was just pursuing the Lord and what he wanted me to do. And I just want to please him. So if it didn't please him, I, I'm not interested in doing it. So we just continue to preach, write books, blog. So I'm just going along this path of just saying, yes, God, whatever you want, whatever thy will is. And there was times where it was hard. There's times where I didn't understand. There's times where it just, you know, and it wasn't because, oh, I wanted to be a, a TV host or anything like that. But it was just, it just seemed like, God, have you, you know, forgotten about me? But I've learned to trust him like never before. So then fast forward to um, a few months ago, I'm driving down the car and I get an email saying, we want to give you your own show. Excuse me? I'm like driving. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> so I like screenshot it and send it to my assistant, Juliet. And I was like, you see this? So pretty much I was like, call and get more information. So pretty much the word network just sent me an email and said, we want you to have your own show, whatever you want to talk about, whatever you want to do, just do it. It's yours. And I was so shocked. So my husband and I got on a conference call with them just to get more information because we had been, re I mean, a lot of different TV shows, but big networks had reached out to us, but we just didn't feel led to go in that direction or go on those shows because um, of the drama and all that craziness. So the Lord just opened up a door for us to have our own show. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So we reached out and we were just like, yeah, we're going to do it. And the cool thing is I had years of production experience. 
I used to work for BET, um, MTV, all these, all the big award shows. Um, I did like Bobby Jones Gospel. I did, per, I did behind the scenes production of a lot of award shows and stuff like that. So long story short, I've had years of experience of production. So I don't need to hire a producer because I'm the producer. Um, and it's just to be able to create the shows. And I used to do casting for those shows. So to create the casting and to do all that other stuff. It's just mind blowing and I just want to show you guys a little clip of the first episode that just aired. That was pretty much amazing, but my show comes on every single every single Saturday at 6:30 p.m. on the Word Network. And um, some of you might not have cable; just download the Word Network app. And the cool thing is, you can watch it live right there. Um, this past week, I was in Washington D.C. preaching, and I mean, I have access to the Word Network. I have access to TV, so I was able to before I went out to go preach was watch my show on my phone because I just download the app. So it's just live. The live stream is right there. You can download it, watch it every single Saturday at 6:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Word Network. Also, I'm gonna be uploading the the shows as well onto my YouTube channel at some point so you can check them out. But it's best to watch them live to just support and join in with me. But I, I guess I just I really wanted to record this video to let you know that um, it, it, it's so cool because when you surrender your life to Jesus, every part of it, he fulfills every desire that he's placed on the inside of you. And for me, my desire was, you know, of course, I have my own show. I wanted to preach. I wanted my family. I wanted a family. You know what I mean? I wanted those different things. And I had to get to the point where I realized, when I, especially when I was single, that, you know what, God, if I don't get any of those things... All I really need is you. Like, you're all I need. You satisfy me. You're my joy. You're my strength. You're my song. You're exactly what I need. Now, and I'm watching the Lord from there birth all of these things. Um, I'm a first-generation preacher. I'm definitely not the person that should be doing all these things that I'm doing. I didn't have any big connections, no big shout-out that said, Oh, Heather, you know, this is this. No, it wasn't any of that. It's just... The Lord literally, he searches this earth looking for somebody that he can use. And I'm so shocked daily that he, I'm like, wait, use me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Um, so let it just be encouragement to you. If you're holding on to your life to let go, there's something on the other side of all of this. And this isn't some formula for you to take it back home and, you know, I'm going to do this and this. No, you just surrender your life to Jesus. Just say yes to him. Just say yes to your will. Um, Sometimes we can worship an idea of what we think we want in our life and then we look up and it's not the life that we have planned and you might feel like, well, God, you promised me this. You promised, it. no, no, he promised you salvation. So I encourage you just to surrender your life to him and just bow down and worship him. Give him your day, spend time with him every single day. Um, just, just when the temptation comes, just say, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to live like that. I'm not going to talk like that. I'm going to represent Christ here on this earth. You see, I'm working on something, not because I want an event, not because I want a ring, not because I want a job, a promotion. I'm doing this because I truly love God. And I've learned that God honors those that truly honor him. 
I mean, he just does. I know I don't go around here preaching, oh, God's going to bless you today. This is your year breakthrough. I don't go around preaching that because I don't know if it is or not. I don't know if it's going to be your year of testing or your year breakthrough. Both are very well available to you. But I just want to encourage you just to let go. There's something on the other side. Nations are waiting for your obedience. So I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in and make sure you subscribe below. See you guys later.